Next year, some Tesla bots will be rolled out, possibly Optimus Gen 3 launching this year instead of Gen 2. Musk emphasized last week at the fourth quarter 2023 financial results call. Now the manufacturer is trying to overcome the utility barrier of this technology, a final step towards reaching the goal of 1 million Optimus per year. In 2025, both the Tesla bot and the $25,000 Model 2 Redwood will hit the market. Save your wallet now. So, how crazy is robotic technology to help Elon Musk realize his dream? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Any, I don't think there's anyone even close to Tesla on solving real-world AI. Um, that same computer and software uh, goes into Optimus. It's too early to discuss pre-ordering the Tesla bot, but when that time comes later this year or next, we assure you that we will provide those detailed insights right now. Surely, many might wonder what this robot will actually do in the real world and if the Tesla bot is truly flexible enough to take on the role of a homemaker. To answer this question, we first need to understand how it'll operate at Tesla's factory before Elon Musk delivers it to consumers. What tasks will the Tesla bot perform at the Tesla factory? Not delving into the role of homemaker from the initial development of Optimus, Musk shared its purpose was limited to replacing dangerous, repetitive, and mundane tasks. In other words, the Tesla bot will automate tasks within production and post-production, handling assembly and quality checks within the factory setting before its introduction to the market. First, let's talk about its ability to recognize obstacles and move in the factory. This is a basic requirement to determine whether it has a high application in Tesla factories or not. Honestly, to move in a complex factory environment, sensors and cameras must be extremely sensitive in recognizing movement paths, as well as working diagrams of department areas. In all versions of the Optimus, it has a screen on its face that displays information, presumably as a replacement for speaking. However, like a Tesla car, instead of eyes, it has eight autopilot cameras used to understand its surroundings, along with sonar and radar sensors that allow it to create a map of a 360 degrees in its surroundings. All will connect with FSD and neural networks to form awareness in determining direction. You know, Tesla's FSD is an expensive software, costing somewhere around 12 grand, and it's emerging as a new breeze in fully automated driving for electric vehicle models. So does it really work against Optimus? Yeah, the answer is definitely yes. FSD software will use data from cameras to determine the location of objects around the robot, such as machines and people. It'll also use data from ultrasonic sensors to detect nearby objects. On the other hand, data from radar will be used to detect objects that are further away. After determining the location of objects around the factory area, FSD software will plan the robot's movements. This plan will include information such as the speed, direction, and path of the robot, of course, it will also warn when an object's approaching. So traveling at the factory is hardly a concern, something that is more of a concern than its mission. So is Tesla bot directly involved in electric vehicle production? It is not like any car production line that anyone's ever seen. In a conversation with Sandy Monroe, Elon Musk hinted at the involvement of AI and machinery in the production line for the EV Gen 3, right when Optimus Gen 2 was released. Musk emphasized that this manufacturing technology had never been seen before. While there's been much discussion about the significant role of the Tesla bot, for us at the moment, although this hypothesis makes sense at certain points, it is still too early to confidently state that Optimus will directly manufacture next-gen EVs. Let's look at the operational indicators to analyze its potential. In the initially unveiled prototype, the specifications of Optimus were clearly stated, with the maximum speed of the robot believed to be a 5 miles an hour, a height of 5 foot 8 inches, and a weight of 125 pounds, with the ability to carry 45 pounds. These are fairly stable metrics that allow a humanoid robot to undertake simple tasks such as carrying objects, patrolling a factory, and even assembling some small components of an electric vehicle. However, like any concept or prototype, those technical specifications can undergo significant changes during upgrades. The Tesla team is are making uh, great progress uh, in one year building uh, a couple of machines, you know, from scratch. You know, that's remarkable. Uh, they're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. 
Finally, with Gen 2, we witnessed an Optimus that was 80% complete, accompanied by a series of enhancements that left the technology community amazed. Even Boston Dynamics had to acknowledge the breakthrough from its competitor. In the latest update, Tesla primarily focused on improving the flexibility and mobility of the limbs, a crucial aspect for a humanoid robot. The manufacturers increased the movement speed by 30%, achieving 6.5 miles an hour compared to the previously announced 5 miles an hour. They also reduced the weight by 22 pounds compared to Gen 1 and added 11 degrees of freedom for the arms and 2 degrees for the neck. Elon Musk also mentioned the use of Tesla's state-of-the-art proprietary drivetrain, which he claims is the world's leading technology. With all these upgraded features, the robot is fully capable of participating in the manufacturing process of a vehicle. In other words, with the release of Optimus Gen 2 and Gen 3 set to be unveiled this year, achieving the goal of automating around 75% of the production line at the Tesla factory has never been easier. If the development pace continues at the current rapid rate, with an upgrade released every seven months, reaching a level of automation up to 90% is a possibility. Truly remarkable progress. How will Tesla bots solve the problem of night shift workers? As mentioned in the previous segment, Tesla's Optimus robot is not just a technical advancement, but a labor innovation with human-like capabilities. With a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery system allowing continuous 24 seven operation without experiencing fatigue, it addresses the common health issues faced by human workers who often suffer from physical strain and sleep deprivation during regular night shifts. This is where Optimus asserts its utility with an estimated 7,000 hours of operation a year. The robot is not merely just a working tool, but a technician utilizing AI to detect and rectify issues such as electrical leaks, pneumatic problems, and explosions that humans might encounter. The automation capabilities of the Optimus robot not only minimize the risk of human errors, but also reduce workplace injuries and pain by tackling hazardous tasks safely and efficiently. This not only allows Tesla to achieve significant cost savings in the long run, but also enhances the overall efficiency of the manufacturing process aiding Tesla in realizing its goal of producing 20 million cars by 2030. So, will Tesla's electric vehicle prices drop when they automate production lines with Optimus? Tesla's electric cars will be as cheap as hotcakes once the Tesla bot can truly revolutionize the production line. That is one thing we can promise. Think about it. When Elon Musk saves a large amount of money to pay each Texas employee with an average salary ranging from 78000 to 130,000 US dollars per year, so just think how much money he's saving. Analysts have calculated and revealed that the potential savings from employing the Tesla bot in the factory could reach up to $83,000 per year, with a paycheck period of just 3.7 years. This makes it an exceptionally attractive investment for Tesla or any commercial manufacturing company. In more detail, when the Tesla bot is capable of performing tasks comparable to humans at a cost of only $5 an hour, it not only carries out those tasks, but operates at a threshold faster pace than humans and requires minimal downtime, taking only two weeks for maintenance and replacement of necessary parts. Over a span of 10 years, the estimated cost savings amount to $205,166. With a job value of $7.50 an hour, the cost savings would escalate to $307,749 over the 10-year period. For higher paying jobs, such as those with a $40 per hour wage, the estimated savings would reach $820,665 within the same time frame. This not only represents a significant economic breakthrough, but also a remarkable stride in optimizing efficiency and finances for Tesla's manufacturing plants. Consequently, this could not only have a profound impact on the pricing of Tesla's electric vehicles, but also trigger intense competition among automakers. At this point, the ripple effect of reduced electric vehicle prices would unfold to attract customers, showcasing the positive aspect of automating production through robots. So, will Tesla's Optimus bot be a weapon that causes unemployment for lots of employees at Tesla's factory? This is a concern that the majority of people have as Tesla achieves significant progress in both quantity and technology with Optimus. From our perspective, it could lead to unemployment effects, but Tesla seems poised to prevent this by expanding the scope of work to tasks that require the human touch. In doing so, the company aims to create new job opportunities rather than letting unemployment occur. As the original purpose emphasized, 
Tesla bot is designed to perform repetitive tasks that require high strength and precision, such as assembling components, transporting materials, testing product quality. These are tasks currently performed by large numbers of Texas factory employees. If Tesla bot is successfully deployed on a large scale by 2030 or sooner, it could replace a large number of factory employees and mass unemployment could be feared. However, it should be noted that Tesla's bot is still in the development stage and its actual capabilities when working at the factory cannot be determined. In case Tesla bot cannot create efficiency in some stages compared to workers, it's understandable that Tesla recruits more workers. We don't know the exact number of employees at the current Texas factory, but it was estimated that there's about 25,000 to 30,000 when a previous report last September said there were 20,000 workers there. If you think Tesla's going to fire a series of employees after receiving the support of Tesla bot, you're wrong. Not only will there be no layoffs, but the plan to hire more employees will be implemented even more. The most obvious is that Tesla is expected to increase to 60,000 employees by the time it fully ramps up production of Cybertruck and EV Gen 3 at Gigafactory Texas. In the end, Optimus only has the capability to handle dangerous and redundant tasks at the factory, at least from our current perspective. In a few more steps, when Tesla reaches the pinnacle of AI technology, everything we predict becomes uncertain. The initial positioning of the Tesla bot is to replace humans in repetitive, tedious, and dangerous tasks across all manufacturing areas in Tesla. Musk's current vision is directing Optimus towards a broader role, serving millions of American households as a homemaker. However, Tesla's use of robots will likely go beyond warehouses, factories, and homes. Given Musk's interest in humanity's future in space, we wouldn't be surprised if Optimus was chosen as an alien resident to fulfill his dream of building on Mars. This is consistent with the Starship program, which he said is designed to prolong life on Mars. Why is Optimus the most reasonable assistant for Elon Musk to colonize Mars? In sci-fi movies, the concept of intelligent robots autonomously establishing bases, structures, and forming an ecosystem on another planet has always been a popular and intriguing theme. What will it be like when Tesla bots make this a reality in the coming decades? In 2021, before Tesla unveiled the Bumblebee prototype, a Twitter user asked Musk whether robots would be mass-produced and sent to Mars as laborers. Musk responded succinctly with, hopefully. It's easy to see that Elon Musk's ambition to colonize Mars is encapsulated in this humanoid robot alongside the Cybertruck. This is the reason why the Tesla owner has set a goal to produce 10 to 20 million units. If it really works, um, which it will, uh, is, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, 10 billion units? It's, it's, it's some crazy number. Um, it might be 20 billion units. Although we don't know the pace at which Elon Musk can reach Mars with SpaceX, of course he won't stop until he gets humans to Mars. This is something we can be sure of. Knowing that preparing the harsh environment of Mars for human visitation will take a lot of effort. That's where the Tesla bot's great mission starts. How will Tesla Optimus construct buildings? Without the need for human control, the Tesla bot could play a crucial role in constructing buildings and preparing foundations on this planet through its ability to 3D print structures on the surface of Mars. Predicted to be one of the prevalent technologies in the coming decades, the advancement of 3D printing technology enables the Tesla bot to construct complex structures quickly and efficiently. Alongside this capability is the ability to analyze materials such as rocks and sand through an integrated software system, which serves as a core platform for the Tesla bot to mine and utilize local materials in building structures on this red planet. In addition, Optimus can be used to explore the surface of Mars, collect data, and search for signs of life on the planet. Optimus can be used to explore caves and other areas of Mars that are inaccessible to humans. Perhaps one day, Optimus himself will discover the alien base here. How many Tesla Optimus will a Starship take to Mars if successful? Looking at reality, a robot integrated with a high-end AI and developing self-learning capabilities like Optimus can completely set up structures, energy sources, and support setting up Starship to start refueling while using the same tools that human explorers would use. This isn't the first time we've seen Tesla and SpaceX collaborate. Previously, the successful launch of the Roadster model into space from the Falcon Heavy rocket shocked the world space industry. So how crazy would it be for Tesla to send more than 3,000 Tesla bots weighing 130 pounds to Mars 
in just one starship that has a capacity of 440,000 pounds. We have envisioned a scenario where a planet is flooded with Tesla bots. Of course, they can't reproduce like humans can, but they've achieved the ability to creatively generate more Tesla bots, meaning that one Optimus can invent an additional Optimuses, and the cycle continues. It's fascinating, yet somewhat frightening. Before Optimus could set foot on another planet, the concept of sending humanoid robots to other planets had already been realized by several space exploration agencies. Most notably, Robonaut 2, a humanoid robot developed by NASA and General Motors that was launched to the International Space Station ISS on February 26, 2011. It became the first humanoid robot in space with a mission of monitoring and repairing equipment on the ISS. With the development of the Starship spacecraft, the goal of launching the first crewed mission to Mars in 2026 is closer than ever. Both Musk and NASA have expressed the idea of using robots to test efficiency, as they are not significantly different from humans and sometimes excel in troubleshooting skills. Therefore, dozens of Tesla bots are expected to be on board Starship during the upcoming launches to demonstrate the initial steps for human exploration on Mars. In general, the work currently underway at Tesla and the mission of SpaceX coexist in a future aimed at the ambitious endeavor of colonizing Mars, resembling a simulation game that only Elon himself could dream of. Above all, the secret behind Musk's goal to produce 10 to 20 billion units is even more worth discovering. How do you feel about Tesla replacing humans with Tesla bots in the next few years when the manufacturer achieves both quantity and AI technology? And do you believe that Optimus will have a positive effect on Mars or any other planet? We appreciate your valuable contribution. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Thank you.